Welcome to episode 4 of Music Chatterbox Singapore. Even if you've never seen a Chinese or symphonic orchestra performance before, there's a high chance that you'll be familiar with the instruments that we'll be sharing with you today. Both from the string instrument family, we have the erhu as well as the violin. The two talented musicians we have with us today are Alyssa and Amanda. So I heard that both of you are principal players in the National Youth Orchestras and you've actually been on tours overseas with them for performances. How has that experience been like? I've been with the orchestra to China for the 2019 China Concert Tour and it was a very interesting experience uh, partly because we had a few master classes one of which was conducted by Yu Le Fu Lao Shi who specialises in Cantonese folk music. I also had the immense privilege of being able to attend the Hong Kong Youth Music Camp. It was very eye-opening to see that the youth in Hong Kong were actually so passionate about Chinese music. There was actually someone who was composing a piece just for fun. Where does the Erhu sit in all of this? How do you merge or blend tradition with what's next for this instrument too? I think the Erhu is, the, is definitely the main character in this because um, the traditional techniques are very timeless and can vary to suit the type of music you are trying to play with the Erhu and a very symbolic piece that uses a traditional technique uh, called the Hua Ying would be this. So in this piece, the Hua Ying is used to express feelings of desolation, grief. The Hua Ying can be changed up for modern Western pop music such as maybe this. So in this way, the Hua Ying is so versatile and I think that's what has carried this carried the Erhu um, till now. I think the main difference between the violin and the Erhu is that our bow is detached from the strings. So there are a lot of technical capabilities that the violin can do, which the Erhu may find it a bit harder to do. So the first one I'll show is Koligno where you play with the back of the bow. Oh, so you're using the wooden part? Yeah, the wooden part. So it provides a more percussive sound. Yeah, that's how it sounds like with the back of the bow. The second one is called spigato, where I'll bounce on the string. Wow! I can feel that Amanda's eyes are like mad with envy. <laughs> Because in the Erhu's case, our bow is stuck in between the yeah, two strings. Yeah, definitely wouldn't be able to do that. So Alyssa, we haven't heard about your experiences with the Singapore National Youth Orchestra. I heard that you're the principal player and you've been there for six years. So how has it been? Uh, likewise, we had the privilege to partnership with different orchestras from all over the world. I think in 2018, we participated in this Asia-Pacific Youth Symphony Orchestra Festival. We got to interact with orchestras from about five different organisations, the local musicians, and we got to take master classes. And I think what struck me in was that even though we are so different, we come from different backgrounds and different countries, we all have the same love and passion for music. And that gives us the common ground to bond. While we tour, we get to perform at different concert halls to different audiences, and that's quite an eye-opening experience for us. It's not every day that we have two music competition winners in our midst. So today, we've actually prepared a fun challenge for you guys. Are you guys ready? No, but... Okay. All right. So who's going to go first? Target Come lock. Okay. I'll start with a slightly more melodic part, I guess.
I think I prefer the, the melancholy of this. Right, of course, <laughs> this unique melancholic sound. Well, it's your turn to side read now. So this is the violin playing the Chu song. Sounds different, but really nice on the violin actually. It sounds very beautiful, right? I think there's not enough hua in. Ah, uh, because of the fingerboard, probably. I think it's only apt to get our who <laughs> prodigy here to do a little demonstration. Okay, I'll do my best. I haven't played this in very long either. Sounds better, no? Yeah, sounds, sounds different. Each instrument is unique. I mean, I must say, both of you really impressed me. Like, that wasn't even sight reading. You're just like playing it properly, like as if you're gonna go for a performance. Now that we've witnessed how technically proficient these two young musicians are, I think we all can't wait for what's next, which is the cross cultural duet between the violin and the erhu. Are you guys ready? Oh no, I forgot about it. Well, I'm quite sure they'll still perform very well for us. So, let's go! Instruments. Like, how do you guys practice at home? Well, personally, I don't practice at home. At home. <laughs> <laughs>